I'm using this under the Fair Use Act, and the reason in which I'm making this video is part of the legal evidence, the body of evidence that I am have built and continue to build against Perry Stone. So as you can see, this was his video from June the 9th of 2023. And what this is going to show, basically, is that Perry Stone has this, this manner in which he does propaganda. For no better terms, this is propaganda, Perry Stone's propaganda when he gets caught doing something wrong. He starts making videos, like when he was caught being inappropriate with women in his church, he makes these videos, and it's just nothing more than propaganda. He is preparing his followers for the fact that he is being exposed and will be fully exposed for violating the holy word of God, but also violating copyright laws, which will cost him dearly. Listen to what he... <clears throat> his propaganda mannerisms in this video. And at this part, it's just going to show, be me showing that he claims this is prophetic words giving, given to him by God through dreams. Listen closely, pay attention. Dream. Very real, I remember every detail of it. I had walked, and, and in these dreams, I don't just walk into a building, walk into it, but I, there was a building, I was inside. So he's claiming this is a prophetic dream. Continue to listen. And in this building, I saw my black briefcase with that I carry on the road everywhere I go to minister. I saw my suitcase, and it was beside my briefcase, and it was as though I was packed and ready to go. Folks, I heard a voice from heaven, not a person in front of me or a person near me. I heard a voice from heaven say, Satan is coming. So I want to point that out, that he says he's telling his followers this is a prophetic dream from God and that Satan is coming after him. Continue to listen. We're thinking, oh my goodness, and then I saw an invisible hand take the top of my uh, briefcase and pick, pick up that, you, I, I have a, uh, it's a metal handle and it comes out where you can you know, pull the case and it lifted it up and it started moving my case toward a glass door like it was stealing my, my travel case and my notes are in there and so on. Then I saw the same hand come and lift up the case on my suitcase. You that have travel, you can travel suitcases or briefcases, you know what I'm talking about. And that hand started moving, and I'm watching these, this, these two invisible hands, and I began to rebuke and say, no, you're not going to do that. You will not take my stuff. No. And I'm going to tell you. So here's the funny part behind that. The fact that he's doing this to begin with is hilarious because he has no problem stealing my copyrighted material. He did, in fact, and I've more than proven it in previous videos, that he has stolen the copyrighted materials from my books, my work, and my research to enrich himself. That is a fact. That is an absolute fact. He's been sent legal documents. He's been sent a cease and desist order. He's, he's very aware. And he continued to enrich himself off of my copyrighted material. This is a fact. The, the numerous videos that I've made on him is makes it very clear that he has stolen my work. But the fact is, he's clearly in this video points out that he's not going to allow somebody and doesn't want anybody to steal his work and his belongings, what he's claiming is his work and belongings. It's not his. Understand that. First off, it's not his. It was stolen from me. And the reason he's doing this video is because of what I'm doing to him. He's propagating this idea that Satan, he's trying to advocate to his following 
to make his following believe that I'm somehow Satan, that I'm somehow the enemy in trying to steal his work and his belongings. But understand that it's actually belongs to me. It was the prophetic words that were given to me by God that he turned around and stole and put his own spin on. He twisted the prophetic words that were given to me by God. Let me point that out. First and foremost, he stole and then twisted. That is what Satan does. Satan is the great deceiver. He is the father of all lies, and he's come to steal, kill, and destroy. Perry is the one that has the satanic spirit in, in him. Again, I do risk people mocking this or making fun of this you know what that's your problem not mine he knew that i was going to use this video he knew that i was going to use this video as evidence against him that he wouldn't dare want somebody to steal his work and his belongings listen to that again again i do risk people mocking this or making fun of this you know what that's your problem not mine no, it's actually your problem, Perry, because this serves as great evidence against you that you wouldn't want anybody to steal your belongings and your work, but you had no problem stealing mine and twisting it, which is, in fact, a violation of not just copyright laws. It is a violation of Jeremiah 23. Verse 30, therefore declares the Lord, I am against the prophets who steal the from one another words supposedly from me. He stole the prophetic words given to me and claimed they were given to him. That is a direct violation of Jeremiah 23 verse 30, which proves he is the one of Satan because remember, Satan has come down with great wrath to steal, kill, and destroy. That is what Satan does. And this is the problem that he's having. This is why he's propagating this video now. Proverbs 6, 31, that when a thief is caught, he shall restore sevenfold. He shall give all the substance of his house. And that reads in many different ways. This is the King James versions. But you can read in other scriptures what it's clearly talking about here, that when a thief is caught, he must pay back sevenfold what he has stolen, even if it means selling everything in his house and his house. This is why he's propagating this idea. He's preparing his followers for what's coming because he knows what's coming. And it's not Satan coming, it's the wrath and judgment of God. Because as I've pointed out previously, he had to be committed when he first did this to a hospital. Just like Jonathan Kahn, when he stole from me, he had to be admitted to a hospital. And Perry Stone, when he was admitted to that hospital, he was taken off, uh, removed as a minister of the church. He had to do many things to be reinstated, but one of the many things he did was steal my work and claim and trick people, trick the elders of the church into believing that he was a true prophet of God because he stole the prophetic words of that were given to me, the true prophet. That's how he got reinstated to the pulpit after he did all this inappropriate behavior with the women in his church. He stole the prophetic words given to me to trick his followers to believing he is a true prophet. He knows he has but a short time. Satan has come down with great wrath and fury because he knows he has, has but a short time. Your time is short, Perry Stone, and none of this propaganda will help you. God bless.